Yo, welcome to another episode of the Rock Cobain Show, and this is Rock Cobain. Today we're going to talk about Ricky Smiley, as he shares that he lost his son Brandon Smiley at the age of 32 years old. Now, Ricky Smiley is currently mourning the loss of his eldest child, comedian Brandon Smiley. Brandon passed away at the age of only 32 years old. Can you believe that? 32 years old. The cause of Brandon's death was not made public. In addition to the radio personality, he is also survived by his daughter Storm, who's only three years old, his mom Brenda, his brother Malik, 21, and his sisters Deesis and Aaron. For me personally, I feel like this situation is tragic. Of course, they're not saying how Brandon lost his life, but it's up to speculation that Brandon actually committed suicide. There's also other speculation that Brandon died from an overdose of fentanyl. Now, I was able to obtain some footage off YouTube here I'm going to play. I want you guys to listen to see how Brandon really feels about his father. I started early. I've been drinking like a long time. Dad used to accuse me of like having a problem and stuff. And he used to make me mad. And I used to lash out at him. Like, I ain't got no problem. Like, I'm good. Like, I got it under control. I got it under control. But in actuality, I didn't have it under control. Like, I was real sick. And I had called Dad one day. And I had just broke down to him. I was just like, I can't do this no more. I got a problem. Then Dad just like stopped whatever he was doing and he got me in rehab. Like he really helped me with that. Cause I was on my way to either going to jail again or dying. Yo, that's crazy. So until we find out or until the family releases exactly what happened, this is all speculation. This is all speculation, okay? None of this has been proven, okay? So these things are allegedly or assumed, all right? But what I do know is watching over the years, watching Ricky Smiley and Brandon's relationship, it's very sad to see a father with so much prominence and so much uh, presence in the entertainment industry not able to help his son become what his son wanted to be most. Brandon was a struggling comedian. I don't know if any of you guys know this or if you follow Brandon, but Brandon is a struggling comedian. He wanted to be just like his father. He even went on the TV shows. I don't know if you guys remember the old Ricky Smiley show, the TV show. Uh, Brandon was a part of that show, and he really wanted to be just like his father growing up. He always wondered why his father did not allow him an opportunity on his show or give him, you know, an opportunity to open for him. Or his father did nothing for him to help him in the industry. Everything that Brandon had to do, he had to do it on his own. Now, as myself, a son of an entertainer, I can understand how that feels because you just want them to give you a chance. You say, hey, help me. But in their brain and in their brain, uh, I guess in their mind is that uh, if they made it without help, then you should learn how to make it without help as well. You know, but when you get to a certain plateau of someone as a Ricky Smiley or someone on that level, um, you know, it's a little easier for you to open a door and it's a little harder for your child to make it to that level on his own. So sometimes they do need the little handout. Yes, they. He, it would have been great. I've watched, I've witnessed Brandon ask his father, why won't you help me? Why won't you give me an opportunity like you give the brat or any of the other people from the from the radio station or the, or the radio show? So this is a very tragic situation. I'm praying for everyone involved, the family of Brandon, his dad, his mom, his child, his baby mom, all of his siblings. Um, this, I think there's going to be more to come out about this, honestly. Um, we're all going to stay tuned here and wait for more updates, but I wouldn't be surprised if you found out it was an overdose from fentanyl, you know? So again, I'm praying for everyone involved. You guys leave a you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down. If you disagree with my uh, what I said or if you agree, it don't really matter. Just leave some down in the comments to let me know to help me out in the algorithm, all right? Y'all stay tuned. Next episode on the way. Neighborhood 6 rolling.